Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm talking about planting uh, these plants on my pond waterfall. And I found this really nice um, plant I thought was pretty cool. It's a trailing morning glory. They call it a dwarf morning glory. But the name of it is Blew My Mind. I thought that was pretty cool. And you can see we are here in the morning um, in California. And you can see the blue flowers that it has on there. And they're a mounding plant. I think about 6 to 12 inches in height. And I think this will be a good plant that will actually plant along the rocks going along the waterfall. And I thought where I'm going to originally put them is on the waterfall, but kind of like in the middle of the waterfall area, if that makes sense. And I thought, well, that's not really the best place for them if you want to see them, right? So I'm assuming that morning glories will open up more in the morning time, I guess. Um, they're full sun. And I thought they'd be good because... I have some rocks that are along the waterfall, so I thought, well, maybe it might look nice if I could just kind of plant these, you know, along the rock and let them kind of trail and hang over the rock. I thought they would look really pretty. So today we're going to be planting Blue My Mind Dwarf Morning Glory. And if you see these in your nursery, I would actually highly, if you have a, highly recommend them. If you have a, a rock waterfall or some kind of pond that's you can plant these at the edge of the rock where they'll kind of cascade over. I know a lot of people use these for um, containers and stuff like that. Um, but I think, you know, at a pond going along the, the rock waterfall kind of cascading over, I think that uh, they'll be very, very pretty. And you have this like long trailing stems that come out and kind of, you know, flow over the rocks. Uh, so that's kind of the, the, the look I'm looking for. They're not that expensive. I mean, you know, $6 for one of these is not bad. And so I picked up about six of them and hopefully they'll kind of grow and mound together. I don't like to space them very far apart. It recommends about eight uh, inches of spacing, but I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to space them only about like three inches, maybe around that type of spacing. I might even clump them together. I'm not sure. I want them to grow together. I want them to casket over the rocks and uh, let's see how it turns out. All right, guys, well, there you have it. So I have planted the blue morning glories. They actually call them blue my mind morning glories, <laughs> which they actually did blow my mind. That's why I bought them. <laughs> and uh, so I'll show you the results, what it looks like. And like I said, you know, having it around a waterfall, I think is going to be really nice. Uh, it's going to be a nice feature to have. And uh, pretty easy to plant them. They already got water to them, already has irrigation kind of by it already. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna turn it around and show you what it looks like. All right guys, here's the uh, Dwarf Blue Morning Glories, better known as Blue My Mind. <laughs> I like that name. So as you can see, I have some rocks here uh, going along the waterfall here. And I think it'll be a great addition as they grow and cascade over these rocks. Hopefully they spread real nice. I got about six of them. You can see I have some irrigation already in there for them. And uh, yeah, that's where I put them at, right next to the waterfall. So if you have a waterfall feature, I would highly recommend uh, putting these in. Hopefully they'll cascade over nicely. All right, guys, thanks again for tuning in. Please subscribe to my channel if you like the videos I put out. Uh, the pond is a work in progress. We're always planting plants, adding more things, features to the statues, all kinds of stuff. So um, please uh, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next video. And thanks for tuning in.